Okay, good afternoon. Welcome. Today we're going to dive into a new tool. Um, this one, uh, I think it's deprecated a little bit, right? It hasn't, uh, it hasn't given me the results that I, that I used to get on it, but it, that doesn't mean it's not a decent tool. Uh, and so we're going to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit and then it'll, it'll come back. Maybe it's just the URL or domain I'm using. Uh, but I feel like it's still a good tool. It's still definitely something that we would want to keep in our back pocket, especially for open source intelligence gathering. And the tool is called the Harvester. Now, according to their website, the Harvester is a powerful tool designed to be used during the reconnaissance stage of a red team assessment or penetration test. It performs open source intelligence or OS and gathering to help determine a domain's external threat landscape. The tool gathers names, emails, IP, subdomains, and URLs by using multiple public resources. That include, and it gives a list, which we'll show you while we're showing off the tool. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the Harvester with a capital H. The Harvester, just like that. We're going to hit that enter button. And you can kind of see it gives us a little detail of here, right? So I'm just going to press the up arrow. We're going to get the help menu. So I'm going to do tac tac help. And we'll do that. And you can kind of see here at the very top, it provides us some uh, usage, right? So dash H, if we need to do help menu, tack D for domain, we can limit our results to 100 or 300, or we don't have to limit it. I'm going to limit mine today just for the sake of video length and waiting. Uh, and then source right here. Those are the important ones that we're going to use today. That doesn't mean you can't use other ones. It's just that's what we're going to use today, all right? So let's get started on this tool. I'm going to type in the harvester, like so, like capital H. We need to identify our domain, so I'm going to do attack D. I'm going to do uh, tesla.com. We're going to limit it. You can see that I've already done this before. I'm going to limit it to 100. And then I'm going to do a source, which attack B. And I get to go and decide what source I want to utilize. Now, I tried Anubis, and it was OK. I'm going to do DNS dumpster. I haven't done that one yet. Let's see if we don't get any good results out of it. So what am I doing here? I'm doing the program name, Harvester. Domain we're going to attempt to get information on is tesla.com. We're going to limit our results to 100. Uh, and we're going to use the source DNS dumpster, which is right here. Now, we can use other ones, right? There's Be Vigil, there's Binary Edge, Bing, Toomba. Um, used to be Google used to be on here, but it's not anymore, it doesn't look like. Um, so we're just going to use DNS dumpster. Let me hit enter. And it's going to go to town. It's going to start looking in DNS dumpster to see if it can't find those little segments. And very quickly, it came back with some results, uh, which could be good, could be bad. Let's let's see what it came up with. I'm going to scroll up to the top. I didn't find any IPs. So Recon NG found us IPs. Didn't find any emails. I think Recon NG found us a couple emails as well. Um, but it did find us some hosts, right? And so we can kind of see here that it's providing us um, some good stuff here. Right, so let's let's mess around with it again. Instead of using DNS dumpster, I want to see what happens when I use Google. I wonder if it's still a valid source and it's just not showing it. It's not. It's not a valid source. Okay. Uh, I do want to do Bing. I'm gonna try out Bing. Let's see if Bing doesn't find something. Uh, and we're just gonna let Bing do its thing. And again, hopefully we we'll come back with uh, with some good stuff here. But Bing didn't find anything. So again, you know, you you got to kind of go through the process. Uh, that is the Harvester, one more tool that you can utilize in your pocket for open source intelligence gathering. Uh, on a one to five scale, based on what it's found so far, I'm going to give it like a two. Out of one to ten, I give it like a three, so maybe a 1.5, a three on it. I just, I mean, I've messed around with it the last couple of hours as I'm prepping for this video, and it just didn't provide me the results that I expected it to. Um, now that could be good. Good aspect of it is maybe Tesla is really good, but I tried other domains as well that you probably saw when I was doing the video, and it just didn't it just didn't turn up anything. So um, it's a decent tool. Hopefully, it gets better, or maybe people are just starting to realize on the aspect of hey, I need to secure this information so they don't make it available. But I, I kind of find that hard to believe. Um, you know what? I, I want to try. I didn't see. I didn't check. I want to see if LinkedIn's on there. No, invalid source. Okay. So again, not a big deal. Uh, I'm just toying with it at this point. Let's 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 see whether forces are able. Let me go F1, just for giggles. Just for giggles, I'm gonna do. Let's do URL scan. I'm just gonna. I'm just curious. I'm just curious if URL scan is gonna give me anything good. <coughs> let's see how this does. I feel like one of these would give me some good results. Oh, look at that! Look at that! 
So URL scan did find us some IPs. There we go. So I'm glad I checked it. I'm glad I checked it before we went, right? So again, some juicy information for open source intelligence gathering. So, you know, given this, now that it's actually coming up with some stuff, because the source does matter, and I knew it mattered. That's why I wanted to try it out again. <coughs> I'd raise it from a 1.5 or a, uh, or a 2 out of 5 up to a th probably 3.5 out of 5, 3 out of 5. I, it's still not giving me email addresses, uh, but it's definitely giving me URLs so, and IPs. So I, I, would, I would raise it up. Right? But I think it's going to depend on the domain and the search or the source that you're utilizing, how valuable this tool is going to be. But I, I am impressed now. It's, it's much better this way. All right. I'm glad I checked that out. Uh, hopefully you learned something from here. Hopefully you can use this tool in your pocket. So we'll holler at you guys later. Take it easy.